this video we're going to divide fractions where we need to think about the order of operations. So here's examples one and then examples two, these examples, examples three, these guys, example four, example five, example six, and example seven, right? So let's start with example one. If we have 18 divided by 6 sevenths and then times 7, you might think that you should multiply first because of PEMDAS, the order of operations. Well, that's not true. PEMDAS says parentheses, exponents, so by all means write this out again. Multiply, divide, add, and then subtract. But, okay, the first thing we do is parentheses, then we do exponents. The third thing we do is multiply or divide. Okay, the fourth thing we do is add or subtract. So my point is, multiplying and dividing have the same level of importance. Adding or, and subtracting have the same level of importance. So the steps are this, this, then this or this, and then this or this. In other words, what I'm trying to say is, you need to go from left to right, okay? Because you read from left to right, okay? Same with adding and subtracting. Left to right, add or subtract, whatever comes first. Okay? Now what we're going to focus on is multiplying or dividing from left to right. In other words, when I see this, I don't begin by multiplying. That would be wrong. Okay? I don't begin by multiplying. I begin by dividing. I'll go from left to right and I multiply or divide from left to right. Okay? So the first thing to do is divide. And if I'm dividing by 6 sevenths, I need to turn that into a multiplication by 7 over 6. Do you see that? So that is the first step, believe it or not. And then you've got 18 times that and then times 7. And then you need to turn everything into fractions and you need to cross cancel common factors and figure the thing out. So, can you turn 18 into a fraction? 18 over 1. How about 7? Can you turn 7 into a fraction? 7 over 1. Can you cross cancel common factors? Well, let's see. 6 and the 6 goes once. 6 and the 18 goes three times. We can't cross cancel these 7s because they're both on the top. You can only cross cancel a number on the bottom with a number on the top, right? So then we get. 3 times 7, 21. 21 times 7. 7 1's is 7. 7 2's is 14. 147 over 1 times 1 times 1 over 1, which of course is just 147. Right? Now, what about this guy? 4 times 5, 6 divided by 5. We go from left to right. Multiplying and dividing are the same importance. So you, you do parentheses, then you do exponents, then you multiply or divide from left to right, then you add or subtract from left to right, okay? So with this guy, I need to, sure, multiply. 4, uh, multiply by 5 sixths, and then, um, well, you know, which you can write that, okay, 4 over 1 times that from left to right, okay? And um, then you're going to, so we can do it, but then you're going to divide by 5. Um, oh, I guess we could just multiply these out first. It doesn't really matter. But uh, 2 into that goes twice. 2 into that goes 3 times. So 2 times 5 is 10. And 1 times 3 is 3. So I have 10 thirds. And then we have divided by 5. Right? Divided by 5. So that's the same, uh, of course, as 10 thirds multiplied by the reciprocal of this guy. The what's res of this 5 can be written 5 over 1, right? So flip him upside down, and we get 1 fifth, right? 
and then we can cross cancel common factors. Ten to ten, five and five goes once. Five and ten goes twice, and we get uh, two over three. Okay. Of course, another way of doing that, if you wanted to, would be to um, okay, that's four over one times uh, five over six. And if I'm dividing by 5 over 1, 5 or 5 over 1, I'm going to multiply by 1 over 5. Okay, Then you can cross cancel the common factors like that. Okay, And eventually you end up with 2 over 3. So, same thing, right? Okay, and, and the way we did, we just took it one step at a time. But either way, you'll end up with 2 thirds. If you end up with 2 thirds, you've done it right, basically. Okay. So let's have a look at example 2, these guys. How about 10 divided by 1 quarter squared? And we'll bear in mind what the order of operations is. Okay, order of operations here, MDAS. We've got to do parentheses, exponents. Let's see, we've got exponents. I have parentheses, but there's nothing to do inside those parentheses. There's just one quarter in there right now, okay? But um, I do have exponents, so I've got to apply that exponent to squared, right? So um, let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. One quarter squared is one quarter times one quarter, isn't it? And um, I guess we could uh, we could go ahead and calculate that. That would be um, one over sixteen. And so then then you still have to do the div the next thing is division, right? So we we took care of the exponent. Okay, so 10 divided by uh, 1 16th, we need to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction on the right. So instead of dividing by 16th, I'm going to multiply by 16 over 1, right? So 10 times that will be just 10 times 16, 160, right? So press pause and see if you can figure this guy out. It's 55 over 32 divided by 11 eighths squared and the thing is you've got to calculate your exponents first because of the other operations right so you got to figure that guy out first 11 over 8 times 11 over 8 what does he make so he's going to be 121 over 64 okay so we're going to get um, 55 over 32 multiplied by, or sorry, divided, <laughs> one step at a time, divided by 121 over 64. Now, if I divide by this fraction, I need to multiply by the reciprocal, which is going to be 64 over 121, right? So it's 55 over 32 times that. Now, see if you can cross cancel common factors. So 8 into 32 goes 4 times, 8 into 64 goes 8 times, 11 actually goes into 55 5 times. What's 11 into 121? It's 11 isn't it? So we get, and is there something else because look that's 5 times 8 over 4 times 11. Can we cross cancel something else? 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 8 goes twice. 5 times 2, 10 over 1 times 11, 11. Okay, 10 over 11 is the final answer. So your answers have to be all the way worked out to lowest terms. Okay, completely worked out till the end. Until you just have a, a, a number, like a whole number as in 160, or a fraction in lowest terms. So your answer is either going to be a whole number or a fraction in lowest terms. Okay. How about this guy? It's got 5 eighths divided by a sixteenth and then plus 3. Use your order of operations. What do we need to do first? Order of operations PEMDAS. Do we need to add first or divide first, right? 
parentheses, exponents multiply, divide, add, subtract, we need to divide and then add, right? So we'll divide first. And 5 eighths divided by 1 16th is going to be 5 eighths multiplied by this one flipped upside down, which will be 16 over 1, right? So we'll get 5 eighths multiplied by 16 over 1. And then we, uh, you know, and we can just go ahead and calculate that on its own. 8 and 8 goes once, 8 and 16 goes twice. That's 5 times 2 is 10 over 1 times 1 is 1, so 10 over 1 and then of course we have to add 3. 10 over 1 plus 3 isn't that just 10 plus 3? 13, right? So press pause and do this guy. Press pause and do this one all by yourself so you can get the right answer. 11 plus 17 over 28 divided by 17 over 50, 56. Okay, are you done with it? Now I'm gonna do it so I have an addition, I have a division. Because of the order of operations, I need to divide first and then add. Okay? So dividing by a fraction means multiply you know, need to multiply by the reciprocal, multiply by fifty six over seventeen. And so I'll have seventeen over uh, twenty eight times the fifty six over seventeen. And now seventeen and seventeen goes once here and here. And 7 into 28 goes 4 times. 7 into 56 goes 8 times. Okay. So that gives me um, 4 here and 8 here. Well, I can still go further because 4 into 4 goes once and 4 into 8 goes twice. Okay. So this whole thing becomes 1 times 2. 1 times 2, which is 2, over 1 times 1, which is 1. And don't forget my 11 plus all that. I still have 11 plus that, which is just 11 plus 2, which is uh, 13 again, right? 11 plus 2, 13. Okay. So let's have a look at example 4. It is 27 divided by 3 over 2 squared, and then plus 64 divided by 8 fifths squared. So it's uh, pretty much the same as what we've just been doing, only it's a little bit longer. We need to think about the order of operations again, of course. <coughs> now, we've got to. Um, what do we do first? Let's see. Let's see if we can make some space here. No, not really. Um, we've got to um, do parentheses. Well, the, we do have parentheses, but there's nothing to calculate inside here. You know, just 3 over 2 is just 3 over 2. But we do have exponents to calculate, so let's start with that. We have an exponent here and an exponent here. And then after that we'll do the divisions, and then after that we will do the adding. Okay. So we'll start with the exponents. Now three over two squared. Calculate that. You could just do that in the side somewhere. I don't know. I guess we could just do it here. Okay. Three over two times three over two is what that is, and three times three is nine. Two times two is four. So I get 9 over 4. So I have 27 divided by 9 over 4 and then plus, and I'm going to do this exponent as well over here. See that? 8 over 5 times 8 over 5. What does that give you? 8 times 8, 64. 5 times 5, 25. And so I have that, and 64 divided by that. Okay, so it's amazing how simpler we the problem is now once we've dealt with the exponents um, because the squared on that you know once we've dealt with the exponents now we just have two divisions and an addition so what comes next order of operations says we've got to divide next right and then add so we'll divide if I'm dividing by a fraction I need to multiply by the reciprocal so I need to flip this guy upside down and multiply. 27 times that. But 27 isn't a fraction. Let's turn 27 into a fraction. 27 over 1, right? And uh, so I'm going to calculate that. And let's see. 9 into 9 goes once. 9 into that goes 3 times. 
So 3 times 4 is 12, and 1 times 1 is 1, so that's 12 over 1. And of course I've got to do this division. And by the way, there's an addition sign in between all of this. But the next operation is to calculate this division here. So I've got to multiply by the reciprocal. So I've got to flip him upside down, 25 over 64. And it's 64 times that, isn't it? So how would you multiply that? Can you turn this guy into a fraction? How about 64 over 1, right? Now, what can you cross cancel? I know 8 goes into both of these numbers. What's the biggest number that goes into 64 and also into 64? Take a guess. 64, huh? 64 into 64 goes once. 64 into 64 goes once, right? So I get 1 times 25, 25 over 1 times 1 is 1. So that's 12 over 1 plus 25 over 1. Hmm, that's a little easier now. That's 12 plus 25. So this addition sign with the order of operations, the adding, you see, that is left for the very end. And 12 plus 25 gives me 37, and then we're done. Okay? On that example. So, um, you know what? See if you can press pause and do example 5 by yourself. It's still the exact same way in the exact same way you need to follow your order of operations so what comes first exponents dividing or adding okay I'm going to do it now I mean you can press pause and try it yourself and then check your answer so exponents right and then we do dividing and then we add because of the order of operations okay so we'll do exponents first so that guy has to be squared. So let's do that. 7 over 11 times 7 over 11, which gives me 7 times 7, 49. 11 times 11, 121. And so I have 49 divided by that, and then plus 36 divided by, and I'm going to do the exponent on the 6 11s here. 611 squared is 6 over 11 times 6 over 11. What does that give me? 6 times 6, 36. 11 times 11, 121. Okay. So now I have two divisions and an addition. What comes next? Well, you go from left to right and you've got to divide. Okay. And the addition comes at the end. So I mean, we just it, with order of operations, we go from left to right. We do parentheses are done. There's no more exponents. The ex exponents are gone, right? The exponents are taken care of. We don't have any multiplications, divisions. Yes, we have this and this. So we do divisions next, and when we're done, we do the addition. Does that make sense? So we do divisions now, and then after that, we do the addition. So to divide, I need to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 121 over 49. So I've got 49 times that, and what does that make? Any idea? Take a wild guess. Well, 49 can be written 49 over 1. Can you cross cancel something now? <coughs> what can you cross cancel? How about 49 into 49 goes once, 49 to 49 goes once? How about that? And that gives me 1 times 121, 121 over 1 times 1, which is 1. And of course, I'm still adding, <coughs> but I now have to calculate this division. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal 121 over 36, right? So it's 36 times that. And how do I do that? 36 over 1. And can I cross cancel? 36 and the 36 goes once here and here. And that gives me 1 times 121. 121 over 1. So we get 121 plus 121. So that is 2, 4, 2. 242, right? Now, what if we had these examples? Example 6 find the quotient of 3 sevenths and 9 <coughs> 49ths. 
quotient means divide. When you see quotient, it means divide. Quotient of this and this means you take the first number and you divide it by the next number. And then you just calculate that. So press pause and calculate it, and you'll get the answer. OK? Or just try and beat me, go faster than me, whichever. OK, I'm going to do it. 3 over 7 divided by that is times the reciprocal, 49 over 9. <coughs> now cross cancel common factors. 3 into 3 goes once. 3 into 9 goes 3 times. 7 into 7 goes once. 7 into 49 goes 7 times. So I get 1 times 7, 7 over 1 times 3 is 3. And that's the answer. Just for fun, I'm going to put it as a mixed number. 3 into 7 goes twice, and the remainder is 1. So that's actually 2 and a third. 7 thirds is the same as 2 and a third. Anyway, you don't have to do that, but we'll, we'll do that later in a, in a later section. Okay. If the quotient of 75 and 5 over 2 is increased by 6, what number results? Interesting. Let's start with this guy. Get the quotient of this and this. What is the quotient of 75 and 5 over 2? Can you write that down? Let me help you. Quotient means divide. The quotient of this and this means take the first number, divide it by the second number. Okay? So that is the quotient of that and that. <coughs> then we have to look at what we do if it says it is increased by 6. Let me ask you this. <coughs> Here's the number 10. What's 10 increased by 6? 10 increased by 6? How about 10 plus 6, right? Here's the number 100. What's 100 increased by 6? 100 plus 6, isn't it? So here's the quotient of 75 and 5 over 2. What's this increased by 6? Well, just need to add 6. Okay, so you get that long that string of operations, and then you have to calculate it. Do I need to add first or divide first? Look at your order of operations. You've got to divide and then add, right? So divide by five over two. I need to multiply by the reciprocal. So seventy-five times that. Then I'm going to add the six. Now, um, how do you write seventy-five as a fraction? 75 over 1. And you need to cross cancel common factors. 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 7 goes how many times? 5 into 7. One time. What's the remainder? 2. Put it here. And now you've got 25. What's 5 into 25? It's 5, isn't it? So you've got 15 times 2. 30 over 1 times 1. 1 plus 6, which of course is just 30 plus 6, which of course is, finally we get to add 36, right? 